Hi, good. Sorry to keep you waiting. He was the last to confirm his candidacy. At 57, he's the youngest candidate. And as far as past political affiliations are concerned, Tan Ji Se is the only candidate who was not a member of the ruling People's Action Party. Come on, Jide! Fight them! <laughs> the former civil servant was a member of the opposition party, the Singapore Democratic Party, or SDP, and stood in the recent general election under its banner. <laughs> Three months later, he quit the SDP to run for the presidency. He said he decided to do so because many Singaporeans want a non-PAP president whose independence from the ruling party is clear and obvious. Some opposition politicians have rallied to support him, even if in their personal capacities. Tan Ji Se presented his economic paper in February this year. In what he calls Ideas for Change, Mr. Tan proposed that the government pump in $60 billion to regenerate the economy, to shift the country from manufacturing into services, to support startups, and to invest more in healthcare and education. He argues the investment could be funded from budget surpluses and sale of government assets and in return create jobs for Singaporeans that could easily replace those brought in by the casinos. Soon enough, he joined the SDP and stood as his candidate in the general elections. This 35,000 jobs created by casinos, nothing! You just spent five years, $10 billion. You created 30,000 jobs for teachers. These are noble jobs, meaningful jobs. To bring to to invest in the future of our children, not this casino jobs. But his ideas were rebutted by PAP ministers. Some questioned how he would fund such schemes, while others cautioned that his proposals would lead to a loss of half a million manufacturing jobs. In the end, Mr. Tan's SDP team lost the electoral contest. Like many PAP leaders, Mr. Tan hails from one of Singapore's top schools, Raffles Institution. He was also a government scholar with an Oxford degree in philosophy, economics and politics. For six years, beginning in 1979, he was an officer with the Ministry of Trade and Industry, rising through the ranks to eventually head the Economic and Manpower Division. It was in 1985 that Mr. Tan served under then Deputy Prime Minister Go Chok Tong as his principal private secretary. In 1990, he left the civil service for the financial sector. And for the next 15 years, Mr. Tan worked in the financial industry. In applying to qualify for the presidency, Mr. Tan cited his stint as regional managing director of John Govett and its successor, AIB Govett Asia. He argued that at the investment house, he managed assets in excess of $100 million. The Presidential Elections Committee granted him a certificate of eligibility, accepting that he held a position of comparable seniority to a CEO. It was also satisfied that AIB Govett was of equivalent complexity as a company with a paid-up capital of $100 million. In campaigning for the presidency, Mr. Tan has repeatedly stressed that he has never been a PAP member. The mood of the people is that they want a non-PAP candidate because it is also right. Because the whole mission, the whole purpose of the elected president is to provide checks and balances on the government. You cannot have a president who is emotionally uh, attached or involved with the PAP with the ruling party for, for a considerable stretch of time. And while it has been put to him that the president's role is a custodial one with powers limited by the constitution, Mr. Tan has vowed to speak up as the conscience of the nation. He refutes arguments that under the law, the president may only speak in public on issues as advised by the cabinet. On 
fundamental issues of conscience, I reserve the right to speak up. Uh, when the concerns of the people are not adequately taken care of. Speaking up meaning speaking up in public? Or yes, I will, but obviously my first approach is to speak in private, confidentially. But if that fails, if the government continues to go on and if there is widespread dissatisfaction, for example, the casino issue, a lot of PAP members are against it too, you know. These are matters of conscience and I want to speak up too. Mr. Tanji Se, seen here with his wife Patricia and three of his four teenage children on nomination day, has his family firmly behind him in his quest for the presidency. Regardless how the election turns out, Mr. Tan has hinted he will remain in politics to serve the people of Singapore.